hello friend welcome to my channel today i am going to show you the lab view scada system you can see this is the lab view master opc this uh, system i made by opc server so first for the uh, first i program by vashino to my arduino controller and i connected to opc server via wi-fi uh, and I am using to connect uh, ESP8266 with uh, Arduino Mega 2560 to connect uh, to my home Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi network you see this system is online now you can see it's running continuously see and this is on stop so presently the system is running here I explained to you this section I made a temperature controller this one is the analog metering and this one the analog value sheet section this one is the digital control so I start from here so before that I show you today I'm going to controller control a single system it means I I want to control this Arduino mega you see this is the mega and uh, this is the connection to my supply box so I'm using here my Wi-Fi this uh, uh, Arduino uh, I configured with this Wi-Fi and uh, I'm using uh, LabVIEW SCADA this is my first screen and this one is my second screen so from two computer I control the same controller at a time so you can see this all digital indicator green red blue yellow all are on it's mean all relay is on and this is the switch for the relay so one by one i will off the switch one off you can see the light is gone two off light is gone three off light is gone okay four light is gone okay now we can see all four are off you can see here automatically all four are off and you see here there is no relay no single relay on and i consider this led for my relay so all are off so you guys you check i can start all those relays from my first screen on you see the light is on okay light is on three light is on four light is on now guys you can check all four relay are on or four relay four relay is on and that is the indication of the relay one two three four okay so as you see i start from here and i can stop from here so i will stop all those relay from here one two three four okay now guys you can check i can start those relay from here you can see one two three and i have one push button four okay you can see i made switch off but all four relays on here okay now you can see my second screen you see all four relays off okay but switch is off so you can see i stop one by one here stop stop okay now i stop from my box so you can see i can use that my controller from here from here and from here from three places this one is the physical switches and this is by scanner at the same time i can use my controller you can see okay now i see i show you the value see for the example I created one uh, analog value input section here 
this one is the dial gauge you can increase like this or this so presently i put here value 200 okay here we can increase decrease the value for example 106 okay here also the slider you can see the value increasing decreasing so here for example i put uh, 4926 okay now this one also okay this one is the uh, no so i've set the value here for example 5386 okay this one is the horizontal slider so i can pull it here okay see what is the value so for example remember this one is 106 this one is 200 this one is 4926 this one is 357895 this one is 5386 okay now you can see my second screen the value is here 106 200 4926 and 5386 and this one is 3579 okay okay now same value i show you in my lcd you see 106 four nine two six three five seven nine five three eight six two hundred this one is uh, not the value this one for temperature okay which temperature you can see here is the same the process temperature okay so guys you see practically i test each and every inputs but the, this is the last one i put one metering section which is here so i put uh, one uh, potential meter here here you can see our potential meter so when i use this uh, potential meter you can see the the meter value will vary all meter value will vary you see i increasing slowly slowly very slowly so now you see all value here 941709 941708 so this is all are each channel i give for one meter it means the meter one have a one channel meter two have another channel meter three have a another channel and meter four has another channel so here also same so here also same so you can see the meter reading here I am decreasing the meter by potential meter. You can see the value is decreasing. So, guys, you see this is the complete SCADA system, and not only two, I can use many monitor like two, three, four, not a problem. And in a different place, I can use it from different place, no problem. And uh, but uh, condition is when you increase the system in the same for the same controller the speed will the response uh, respond uh, speed will decrease but uh, it will work this is my vashino sketch so i use vashino pro you can see this one uh, i this one pid section and uh, this one for the my i2c lcd section and this is the memory uh, i use the eprom memory for the uh, keeping the value remember after power of the controller it will give the same value and you see this is for the modbus this is the modbus so here the sketch okay and uh, i show you another thing for example this is the power on now the controller you see but if i put power off as you see the value okay i will stop all switch okay now i will stop the heater you see now heater is on i will stop the heater heater stop you see the red indicator and as you can see here the value and if i switch off the power now power is switch off if again i start same value can find here okay and same value coming from this guy the value here it's not going to close 
any parameters so now I'll stop this way scatter and uh, close it again I'll start and run you can see everything is in this place all value is there you see all values there all conditions there like before thank you I will uh, share the code of lab view and the sketch of the machino uh, downside of my post so guys you can download and enjoy thank you thank you very much